Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's the Jade Gemini. Tonight, I want to go ahead and bring you a video less showing you a product. I mean, this definitely will get a review, but more so uh, talking about a user interface. So today, I'm going to talk about one of my favorite user interfaces for lights, and that is Andrill version 2. Now, if you don't know what that is, basically, um, flashlights have different software in them. Some are a little bit more basic, where it's just two modes, high and low. Then you have sort of the next step up, something like what you'd find with an O-light, where you press and hold, and it's, you know, moonlight, and then you keep holding, and it cycles through three, and then goes back down, and then you double tap for turbo and triple clip, uh, clip for strobe. And then there's different ones all in between, and one of the more complicated ones is the Andrill which is what this light right here runs. So today, I'm gonna to go ahead and talk about some of the basics as well as some of the hidden features on the Andro. Now right now, you can actually see that it's in candlelight mode, which is one of the many cool modes that Andro can show you. So the first thing I'm gonna do is take you through from the very beginning. So the first thing I'm gonna do is reset Andro to completely uh, stock settings. So we're gonna click 13 times and hold. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and hold. It's going to flash, and then pop turbo and come all the way back down. Now, this light is in muggle mode, which is where it, um, you know, basically has some safeties in it. It doesn't go all the way to moonlight, and it doesn't go all the way to the highest turbo. So we don't want this. We want to go into the more advanced setting. So to do that, after you've reset your Android light, you press and hold 10 times to get out of this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One click. And I can just tell this is now out of it because of how low this moonlight is. So now we're in the regular mode. So the sort of normal running light modes, the way that that works, is a lot like an O light. Essentially, press and hold, and you get moonlight. If you hold once, you'll go up. If you hold once and then hold again, you'll go down. But a useful thing is, is if you, instead of going up, letting go, and then immediately pushing and going down, you can just double tap while it's on and it'll go down as well. Like that. So one of those kind of cool little features that they've changed on the second version. If you double tap, whoa, it goes to turbo. If you click it once, it turns off. Now, if you're in the light mode, you double tap, go to turbo, double tap again, you go back to the feature you were. You don't have to turn off, then reset your night vision, and then turn it back on. So one of those cool little, you know, again, ease of life uses with the light itself. Now when you have the light off, there's a couple different things you can do. Next we're going to talk about lockout. One, two, three, four. Locks out the light itself. And right now, since I've reset this, this is in the lockout mode. So from here, there's kind of some cool features I want to go over. But first, let me show you how to get it um, stop, to stop flashing. If you have like a Hank light or like this Workhouse that actually has a, a secondary red LED in the head, I like to set this up to be bright so I can have almost like a red night vision mode to like read something or kind of guide around my house. So whether you're in the stock mode that's not locked out or you're in the lockout mode, if you tap seven times and let go, it changes what mode this is in, which this is like flash storm mode, essentially. If you press and hold after seven, if you have more than one LED color in there, it will cycle through the different colors. But since this doesn't have that, I'm not going to worry about that. So I'm going to click seven times, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It turns it off, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It puts it in dim, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now I'm in bright uh, the bright mode like I like it. Now from lockout, it's really cool because you still do get some usability. This is really good for kids around the house. So if you press and hold from lockout, you get moonlight. But what's cool, a lot of people don't know, is if you double tap, you get like a three or four lemons mode. So you still have some usefulness to guide around the house. There's moonlight, double tap, but you let go and you're still in that lockout to keep things safe around the kids or safe from turning on your pocket. Now what's cool is from lockout mode, if you trip, if you uh, quadruple click like you did to get it into lockout mode, one, two, three, four, 
you'll turn on your light. But, especially I use this reference all the time with my flashlight videos, I have like a, a baby and a toddler. Certain times I want to use the light um, and get into all the modes, but I don't want to turn it all the way on. So what's cool is one, two, three, four. Nope, sorry. One, two, three, four. I'm back in the lockout mode. If I only click three times instead of four, one, two, three, it'll just quickly flash, but it didn't turn on like four clicks. So again, there's all these little nuances and tricks that you can find out from the lockout mode. You can go back and watch through these. I'm trying to be really quick and high level, but give you a lot of good information. So, so far we've went through sort of basic operation. You'd click, you go onto your previous memory mode that you had it on. If you press and hold, it goes on to Moonlight. If you turn it off and then turn it back on, it'll go to that memory mode unless you turn it on Moonlight and then press again and ramp through. Now, Andro supports smooth ramping, which I like. You can, though, if you want it to be stepped, triple click while the light is on, one, two, three. It'll flash and then one, two, 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 two. The only problem about this that I don't like is is if you do lock it into lamp, uh, ramping, you don't get the lowest moonlight mode. So to me, you're kind of taking away a useful feature, but some might like this because it's about one lumen, while the regular moonlight mode is, you really have to have like, it's full moonlight. You have to have everything fully, fully adjusted. But again, with the baby and everything, like watch. See, it goes down quite a bit more. Now I'm back into ramping. So just something to keep in mind, but you can customize it again, how you like it. Now, if you wanna check your battery from here, this is, I just fully charged this up on my uh, X tar or star or whatever you wanna say, charger. So if you triple click and then let go, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, one. So it's 4.1 volts, which is fully topped off. And I think like 2.8, 2.7 is the bottom. And I'll just keep oscillating like that. You simply click it once to turn it off. So these are all of the basic modes. Again, just to kind of go over, works a lot like a uh, O-Light, press and hold. You go into um, Moonlight. You tap, you go into your memory. You double click, you go into Turbo. What's cool though is if you double click and hold and then let go, you get kind of like a tactical. So you could be You know, something like that, or maybe just a spot check again. So again, one of those nuances that you start learning how the light works. Now there's a lot of other things you can do, a lot of like temperature calibrations and stuff like that. And again, I'm not gonna tell you to go into that stuff because you know, I don't wanna mess up your light. And if you ever do feel like you've messed something up, you can always click that 13 times and hold, reset it, and then click 10 times and hold and go back into, from muggle mode into, you know, fully unlocked mode, right? Or advanced mode. The next and final things I do want to go ahead and show are your sort of um, advanced or fun settings. And those all have to do with the triple clicks. So if you triple click and hold, while it's off, instead of triple clicking and letting go, it won't go into battery mode, it'll actually go into specialty mode. So one, two, three, and hold. So the first one is your candlelight mode. It sort of simulates, well, what a candle flickering does. If you press and hold, it'll go up. If you double tap, or again, press and hold, and then let go, press and hold again, it'll go down. And so you can adjust your brightness settings and it will oscillate around that. Now, if you're in the specialty mode and you double tap and let go, now you have a bike flash. So you're able, if you're in, you know, this uh, is gonna, sorry, good Lord, this is me pedaling over here, right? So, uh, you know, if you're riding your bike around, you can see what's in front of you, but it ever so slightly flashes to let people know. And then again, you can go up higher, you can go down higher while it's doing this. If you double tap again, then it goes into a high frequency strobe, very fast. It's like, that's what it looks like from here, but with the frame rate, you probably don't see that. If you press and hold, it gets faster and, um, and just becomes solid. But if you double tap and then it goes down, it starts to get really slow and flash. So what you could do is you could change this 
again, in a tactical situation and just slowly move up and down. Not that I'm a tactician or anything. If you double tap again, then you get into the really extreme strobe. Wow. Which this is like a turbo bright. And then again, so it's almost like you have a lower brightness uh, turbo or uh, strobe and then a higher brightness. You double tap again, and then it gets into the last fun mode, which is the storm mode, you know, where it replicates what a storm looks like. So you could set this, you know, on a cup over this or some sort of, you know, diffuser or just put this in the you know um, corner of your room and just have a little fun with it, you know. I don't know why I'm doing that. I'm just kind of playing around with it. But anyways, um, and then again, you double tap and you're back to your flickering light mode. Again, there is a lot more to go ahead and go into with this light. There's temperature checks, there's temperature resets, and, you know, increase your temperature and, you know, output configure, like, you know, lots of different things. There's also modes that uh, you can get into where if you have uh, two different types of LEDs and like a MSR or a D4V2 or some other lights, you can have it where it turns on those two lights or turns on these two lights and kind of choose with that. There's a lot more advanced settings and more for the dual channel stuff. There are specific videos, but this is just a really high level video on how to get a lot of enjoyment and use some of the secret features of Andril version 2.0, but still, you know, use it as a normal light and not really mess anything up. So that's basically everything. Wanted to make this a quick little video for you guys. One, two, three, four. So I hope you guys did end up enjoying it. If you did and it was helpful, please go ahead and give a like as well as subscribe down below as it really helps the channel. Of course, if you have any sort of questions, if anything seems to get messed up or need any sort of help, I've had experience with Hank lights, you know, MSR, well, those are Hanks, you know, MSR, you know, Nakagon or Nachagon, um, as well as uh, some of the others, you know, like this Workos as well as a uh, FW, Double A. So I've had a lot of experience with the Android lights. If you need any help, just let me know. Of course, I can't thank you enough for taking time to watch this video as there's so many amazing content creators out there you could be watching. I hope everybody has a great rest of your week and a great holidays coming up. If you celebrate it, take care. Peace.